Amy Green is um, our guest writer this evening, um, and this is her first novel, and it has collected some extraordinary reviews, considering that it's only been out for a couple of weeks. And the novel, <coughs> if you have not read it, is, um, is a very eloquent uh, and graceful book. Um, Amy is an extraordinary writer. She, she has a passion for words, and you sense that passion when you, when you read her book. Uh, Amy comes from Russellville, Tennessee, near Knoxville. This is only the third public appearance that she's made in behalf of her first novel. So I know you will want to join me in making her feel very welcome here. Amy Green. Laura, I had some friends up on the mountain. Sun shined down through the leaves and made fairies for me to play with. I didn't get sad whenever Johnny went off roaming because when the wind blowed, the fairies came alive. If I laid on the ground, they darted across my body like minnows in the creek. I miss them now when nighttime comes. I'm a grown woman with a child of my own, but I still get lonesome in the dark. I try to remember good things, like how Mama was before she changed. I think about that time she was scaling fish. She dropped a bluegill back in the bucket and held my face in her slimy hands. I walked around the rest of the day wearing that slime on my cheeks. I felt touched by some magic creature, like a mermaid out of one of Johnny's storybooks. Yeah. Where did you go to school? Well, I, right out of high school, I got married. So I, so I kind of, I guess the school of life first. Because <laughs> I got married and I had kids right away. And then in my 20s, I, I realized that I wanted to write for a living, you know, rather than just as a hobby. And so I did go back to school. And I went to school um, in Vermont, actually. It's this low residency program. It's very non-traditional because I was a terrible student in high school. I was really great in English and terrible in everything else. Um, and the program at Vermont um, allowed me to kind of center everything around writing. So, um, so that's where I got my bachelor's degree. And then I had thought about going back for an MFA, but I got a book deal, so. <laughs> I don't really need to do that anymore. So. Yes, I had some great high school teachers, but I didn't share my work with them, um, you know, my current work, but they were a huge part in getting me to this point, so. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming. Congratulations. Thank you.